Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the vibration analysis. So vibration analysis is basically a process to study, to monitor and to understand the vibration levels in the system that undergo dynamic forces right so which have the dynamic or you can say the time dependent parameters to understand the overall behavior of the system is not easy and taking all the components all the factors into consideration is also not easy so instead of considering all the details what we do we take certain important features we use certain approximations to do the vibration analysis now this type of analysis is very important why because it helps us to analyze the machines their components we can also find the response of the system depending upon the initial by changing the in, initial and the external excitations we can also find the response plus we can also detect lot of defects lot of you know imbalances are there there are failures there are misalignment resonances there like critical speed failures and a lot of failures are there in the mechanical systems so that we can find out with the help of vibration analysis so the first step for vibration analysis is the mathematical modeling of a physical system that means we are trying to represent all the important features of the system now a system may have n number of features but all of them are not included means every detail is not included in vibration analysis or I should say in the mathematical modeling, we have to represent all the important features with the help of equations. So we cannot have a complex system. So we try to take the uh, you know components or the features or the details that help us describe the system. And of course the model it may be linear or non-linear, but we have to try that it should not be complex. So after doing the modeling, we find the governing equations for the motion, right? We may use the free body diagram approach or maybe the vector approach. We can use the Newton's law. D, there are three Newton's laws of motion. They can be used. D. Alembert's principle can be used. The principle of conservation of energy can be used. So there are n number of approaches that can be used to determine the equations of the motion. Now, after find the equations of the motion, what we have to do? We have to solve those equations. The equations can be solved manually or even with the help of softwares. We can find there are various numerical methods that are available to solve the equations. Now, once the equations are solved, what we have to do? We have to interpret the results because all the equations are being solved. Every equation will give you certain answer, but you have to analyze that whatever the answer we get, whatever the values we get, are they acceptable values? Are they within the uh, you know limits? Are the results suitable for a particular system? So the solution, it gives the displacements, the velocities, accelerations, or stresses or maybe other factors that are required to determine the you know design implications that can be made to help us analyze the system and to help us analyze the design of every component so let's take the case of a cantilever beam which has got some mass right uh, let's say mass m attached at its end right and of course the mass of this rigid body is quite significant in comparison to mass of this cantilever beam right and we say that if some dynamic force is being applied to this beam at the end it undergoes some deflection right so to do the analysis of the system what we can do we can convert it into a lumped system we can convert this mass into an inertia body Right. That means we have to take into consideration the mass of this inner body, the mass of this rigid body, which we also call as the inertia body. Right. Because this is the body that will absorb the change in velocity and it will increase or decrease kinetic energy of the system. Right. And this beam, what exactly it is trying to do? It is trying to bring the system back to its original position. So we can replace this beam with a restoration element, which we say is a spring with some spring stiffness, K, right? 
so the first thing what we have done we have done the modeling of the system now we can use some concept some principle to analyze to find the equations for the system so if we apply the d'alembert's principle which says that for a system in equilibrium the uh, algebraic sum of forces and moments it should be equal to zero so we can see that in this system the upward and downward force it should be zero so the downward force that is acting is because of the weight that is mg and the upward force which is acting is the restoration force right because these two forces are going to keep the body in equilibrium which is equal to minus spring stiffness into whatever is the displacement let's say if it is x so minus kx right so this is the equation with the help of which we can find the values of let's say k we want to find out or maybe the mass of the body or the displacement whatever unknowns are there we can find out and we can also use this equation to find the values for various kind of systems right this is a simple linear movement system we can uh, create the equations for torsional movements for harmonic motions for various types of motion so whatever the results we get on the basis of that we can analyze that is this amount of vibration acceptable if not what changes can be made to the system to ensure that the deflection it reduces to a value so that it does not affect the whole system